Good morning. Thanks for, for coming. Uh, I think we're going to try and talk a little bit about casual racism, mm -hmm. racist stereotypes, and racist jokes. Uh, really, the issue is how do we relate to each other uh, when issues of race turn up? Uh, so, well, do you think any, any type of joke involving race is okay? Is it, is it an absolute? Or uh, is, there a, is, there a, is there a judgment to be made? I think as Singaporeans, we have evolved over the years. So while there are some jokes that we deem as racist, can never be told in public, there are some jokes in which we, as a, as a collective whole, as a country, we can joke with each other about other races and laugh about it. Yeah. Because we're so used to being Singaporeans as one. Yeah. And, and, and with the different races, we have evolved through the years, yeah. the, the more than 30 years. Yeah. I think some jokes are okay. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do we decide? That's your internal filter. Yeah. How we're brought up, you know, how we are exposed to other races, yeah. brought up in school or at home, yeah. and uh, our moral compass, how we feel about it. Yeah. Do, do you think there's, a, there's a, a need for an external moral compass around deciding? So, so should there be something outside? Of, you're, what you're saying is internally we decide, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we tell jokes, we're telling it to somebody, about somebody, and there's disinterested people. Uh, should their views matter, or is it just what I feel I'm comfortable saying? Jokes, uh, are by definition, perhaps there's, there's always something or someone that is the subject. And whether that subject takes offense or not. I mean, that's such a subjective thing and, and um, contextually also whether that joke was, was meant to cause offence, whether there was any malice in, in, in intended. I mean, there, there's so many variables. Um, and, you know, I, I've been guilty of sharing jokes and enjoying jokes that are, have, have a racial uh, content. Uh, uh, and probably will for the rest of my life. I've been the subject of um, perhaps sometimes intentionally offensive uh, jokes as well. You know, life's too short to kind of hold, you know, that kind of offense or, or take it too deeply, I suppose. But having said that, you know, you have to respect other people's um, 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 right to be offended. So you're saying that you, you feel that uh, there's, a, there's a kind of uh, social benefit about laughing at ourselves, you, you, and you, you want to enjoy that social benefit. Oh, absolutely. I think, I think, I think if we're not able to laugh at, our, at ourselves, I think we'd just be very sad people. And, and I think by, by, by extension, also being able to laugh at, us, uh, laugh at ourselves and also laugh at, you know, our fellow yeah. men yeah. You know, around us. But what about that last bit you said where it's, it's, you, you feel that it, you know, people have a right to be offended? Recounting a role that I, I, I had had to play on some TV show where I, I, I played a person with a stammer. And so there was this little bit in this segment in the routine where I was you know, speaking with a stammer. Um, went down a storm, the whole routine, I'm, gl I'm glad to say. Uh, audience falling about. Um, but a lady wrote in um, saying that it was very insensitive because she had grown up with a stammer. So you never know, you really never know. And with race, it's such a, such a personal thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we each, you know, to a certain extent, kind of define such a big major part of ourselves by our ethnicity, I suppose, you know, our, our, our roots, our racial roots. Um, and if, you know, you perceive that someone is attacking that, you know, inevitably, you, you, there's a part of you that takes it very personally. Um, I mean, hell, as an, as an, as an actor, you know, for the last 25 years, I've, I've had all manner of, of, of um, offense slung at me. And, um, but um, here I am, I'm still at it. <laughs> <laughs> the only person in Singapore, uh, one of the few who can get away with the most racist Kumar. jokes ever is Kumar, <laughs> uh, our most well-known and beloved stand-up comedian. Yeah. Now, he can go on stage and say whatever he wants about him, not just yeah. the other races in Singapore, but his own race as well. Yeah. And he says it with such blatant disregard for anything, but he's funny about it. Yeah. And you know that you, he's trying to make us laugh, and he's putting it all out there, yeah. and we're laughing with him. Okay. Uh, does he get away with what he does because he's minority, because he's Indian? Uh, and, and secondly, 
Does he get away with what he does today? Because he's always been doing this. And he started when our values were a little bit different and he, that was okay. He so if someone started to try to do that today, would they be allowed to do it? So what, what, do, you, what do you think? He's like a Joan Rivers of Singapore. She started doing it from, you know, the previous century. Yes. So she's, she's been growing with the times and Kuma is our Joan Rivers. So yeah. yes, we, we can forgive him more vis-a-vis yeah. -vis if someone else tries to do, it today. tries to do that today, perhaps. What, what about the fact that, he's, that he's, he's not Chinese? Does that make a difference to what he can get away with? I don't think so. I, I think a lot of it has got to do with the context. We need to understand how the joke is located within a certain context. I mean, a joke between two friends mm. who are comfortable with each other and they know that there's no malice or ill intent uh, and everyone laughs it off. It's not going to affect the relationship because at the end of the day, the person knows that the person saying the joke is not really racist because he knows or she knows the person well. But publicly, it might be different because different people might interpret dif differently. Right? Mm. So knowing the context matters and also knowing the overall social, political climate of the situation. Um, a joke should never be at the expense of a person or a group. Uh, so there's power dynamics involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are at the brunt of racism on an everyday level, uh, a joke might uh, trigger uh, painful memories uh, or something that is not right, and therefore you tend to react in a certain way. Um, but when that suffering is shared across everyone, then we say, well, there's stereotypes of Chinese, Indian, Malays, and everyone laughs because uh, everyone is trying to cope with a real presence of stereotypes in society. Mm. So a joke can be functionally good in the sense that it can raise consciousness of the existence of stereotypes. And what we do after that is what matters. So a joke can be a starting point for a wider conversation over racism, over stereotypes in society. So you think that a joke highlights an issue with a stereotype which may be useful for a discussion or dialogue? I mean, a useful way of moving forward? 